turtle travesty. Now this yes, one poor little girl like turtle is so small because she was malnourished for the first six months. Now yes. tell me the story of this turtle abuse well, episode. Generally, females are larger than males as turtles go uh, because the male climbs on top of the female to mate. That's why the, the male's uh, belly goes in because he oh. fits on top of the female's shell oh. where the female's belly is flat. She stays, okay. you know, when they mate. Um, now when they, I adopted them both, they were the size of quarters uh, as new hatchlings. They were about wow. three weeks old. Oh. And and um, after about two weeks, uh, they got they got out. They got lost. My fault. I got Rocky. So you're a negligent. Yes. And uh, Lily disappeared. Nobody had seen her. It turns out my landlady's boyfriend had her and lied about it. And he kept her for six months and in a little plastic container fed her only leaf lettuce. So by the time I found out about it and got her back, um, she uh, was, you know, less than half the size of Rocky. Even so though what, they what the are they supposed age. to eat? Uh, they eat, um, they're omnivorous, but uh, primarily fish, uh, processed turtle sticks, uh, shrimp, uh, either dry or sticks. live. Now, I wonder who... Who, does Hearts have a monopoly or a corner on the process? Oh no! Actually, there's a there's a uh, company called uh, Tetro Reptomin that has the best on the market. Uh, Wardley also has a brand. And what are they? What, um, now what makes them the best? They have the real. They have the best breakdown as far as protein and vegetables and. And what uh, does this cost? Does it cost? I mean, what do oh, they cost? Oh no! I I pay maybe seven dollars a month for like a big container and that, that lasts in the month. And I supplement it with a uh, hydrated shrimp. And uh, I also- I can't um, afford hydrated shrimp. And I also uh, buy fish on my own that I split with them. Whenever I get takeout, it's generally some type of fish that I can split with them. They had the leftovers of my pork chop uh, this morning from dinner last night. They oh. they supplemented their breakfast with it. They, they First time they had pork, they love pork. Uh, they like chicken, they like cheese, hard-boiled so eggs. They have a protection, you know, dogs have a protection. If they eat meat that's gone bad, they will throw it up. It won't affect their health. I honestly don't know, but I prevent that by never giving them bad meat. But haven't you read in it, don't they have the turtle care book? Haven't you read up on it? I've read lots of turtle care books. In Do fact, they say I just had anything one about not night. feeding them certain things? Is there something that's deadly no. for turtles? No, I've never read that. I'm sure they eat all kinds of dead stuff in the in the In the wild, farms. yes. Yeah. And I do get them uh, fresh minnows. Uh, maybe once a month I'll treat them to live minnows. You um, take a live minnow and feed it to this? Oh, animal. yeah, about ten of them at a time. Now... How do you feed them? You take them out of the water and have them flipping around in there, gasping for breath while no, these no, monsters no. I, I down fill on up, them? I feed the turtles in the water. The turtles have to be in the water to eat. Oh, they so, do? Yeah. They have to be underwater to eat? Yes. Oh, so I I fill, This is actually their feeding bin. So I fill this up with water about halfway, uh -huh. and I just throw the fish in there, and the fish swim around, and the turtles are you say are like they the know hunters. their names? Yes. Um, and how do you know? You put them on the floor and call them, and they come to you? Not yet. Yet, but I'm working on that, uh, especially that, that with Lily. That can happen? Yes, but they respond. They'll turn their head, you know. Um, I know an I know another woman, a friend of Ryan's, who uh, had turtles and was always talking about her turtles. And I never listened because she was kind of wacko to begin with. And I never knew that, I never thought of turtles. You know, parrots are very intelligent. Parrots yes, are very yes. attached to the person. Yes. And I didn't know that the turtles but Turtles could be that. are too. As a matter of fact, What's their level of intelligence? Uh, I would equate them like on a scale of like pigs or something, like dogs. You could train really? them. You could train them. I pigs, had a turtle. Pigs are very intelligent. They'll play had, with a little puppy. A pig will play like it's a little puppy yeah. with a... Yeah. That's one reason I won't eat pigs. I've I had pork turtles. When you see how intelligent they are, they know they're going to the slaughterhouse. They hear other pigs squeal. And I, I just don't oh, want to be part of the killing. Heart. Yeah, yeah. I really will not eat pork for that reason. But um, with my, I've had turtles that I've trained. When I call, they will come. You know, let Immediately them. Immediately or very slow? You have to call repeatedly or make a noise? Um, a, Two, three times, and eventually those stubborn ass will come around, you know. You know, if I when they're bigger and I haven't run around the apartment. So they're different than cats. Um, 
Cause yeah, cats are yeah. very independent, no matter how long. Cats will just ignore you, yeah. Right. But I, that's what I want to work with Lily on. Rocky, right now, we're working on not going over edges. He's got Why? different needs than her because he likes to jump over edges. You mean he could fall off a table and hurt himself? Well, he, it's doubtful he would hurt himself, but I don't want him to do it because if I put him on a bed or a couch, yeah. I want him to stay there and not get on the floor when he can get under something and get lost. Oh. So, and he's been doing very And they don't well even buy, they don't even buy to say, in self-defense, wouldn't they have if somebody was attacking uh, no, them the or something? No, the only time he's ever bitten uh, yeah. in uh, the almost two years, well, a year and a half I've had him, is when um, I was feeding him, and I went to give him a kiss, and he thought my lip was food. <laughs> so he bit my lip, lip on looks accident. like a hydrated shrimp now. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much, and good luck with your future boyfriend, Rocky. You know, and how big will he get ultimately? What's his? Uh, he'll get to be probably about you know eight ten inches in diameter. And how long will that big. take? Oh gosh, maybe eight to ten years. Wow. Yeah. Have you ever had a turtle that long? Yeah. Wow. And what's their life expectancy? Uh, thirty to fifty years. Wow. Um, Are these land or water turtles? Water Those turtles. And what's the name? Is there a name for the breed? Yes, these are red-eared sliders. You can see the red ears. He's a little bit more orange. She's a little yeah. bit more red. Oh, oh I, see the, I see the red. Yeah. Isn't it funny how they, they do have the instinct to pull in their head when they see something coming at them? Yeah. I guess that's how they survive. Well, thank you very much. How much do they cost? How much is it? Uh, these were $5 each. As quarter size. And they came with the cake, the, their little... Uh, uh, case, their little travel case, but of course I had to get them an aquarium, water heater, water filter. Oh, they you got have the to works. keep the water at a certain temperature? Yes, Can and they get especially pneumonia? in the winter, they can't go into hibernation. Uh, I keep oh, a they would go in hibernation at nature? They go in hibernation? Yeah, and you can't let them do that in captivity. Oh. They could die. Oh, that's interesting. So you got to have an underwater heater. And what temperature do you keep it that. at? Around 85, between 80 and 85. That high? Mm -hmm. So even it gets down to 60, they might start hibernating? Um, if they're overweight, they could. And it's oh. kept to 60 for a, a regular long-term period oh. of time. It's possible. Wow. I don't want to take a chance. Well, that's very interesting. I've learned more about turtles in this few minutes than I learned in the previous 78 years of my life. <laughs> Is it 78 or 77? I forget. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they like to have an eggshell in their tank. They'll munch on it like uh, potato chips. They like to have their bamboo plant in there. They'll munch on the roots and the leaves of their bamboo oh. plant. You know. Wow. They love the radio. They love classical music. Um, they'll swim right up to the radio. How about hip hop? Not so much. Um, oh, really? But I'm trying to get them into classic rock. Rocky likes opera. I hate opera. Loves this turtle. Loves opera. And look, I don't care whether you hate opera or not. I'm telling you right now. Rocky has rights as a living being in your apartment. I know. And I want you to give Rocky his opera. Every Saturday. Every it's opera on, every, every opera Saturday every opera queen I know has to on. have has to yes. have a, a serving of opera at least once a week. Once every Saturday, ask him. Yeah, yeah. we have rock we have opera okay. on. Every We're gonna Saturday. keep checks on you and I'm gonna have the Humane Society make very good <laughs> Thank you very much. Sure.